keep having to restart this thing because it's being super lame. Is it working? Why is this being so weird? I'm so confused. How's it going, guys? Sorry, I'm trying to figure something out with my computer. This thing is being so stupid. Hold on a second. Absolutely stupid. Hey, am I dumb? No. No, no, no. Is this working? Can you guys hear me? Oh, there we go. There we go. Good Lord, I was getting frustrated. Hey, everyone's like, hi, hey, what's up with y'all? Sorry, I'm a, I mean, I'm not, I didn't mean to be late. It's just, it just took a second for the shit to work. It logged me in another thing and then it did, and then it didn't work like twice now, but it's all good. We're here now. What is up, y'all? Uh, so who, uh, who got the, who got the EP? Who's got the EP? Who copped that? Jess came out. Hey, is that you, Snap? Hey! Your mom said you couldn't get on the roof. I must have missed the first part of that. Why couldn't you get on the roof? Yes, thank you, Matt Williams. Matt Williams bought the EP last night. Thank you. Hey, Snap. You can't hear me. Can you, can you guys not hear me? Can you guys not hear me? Sorry, I don't know what is going on with my computer right now. It was being weird today, but can you guys hear me? All right. You guys can hear. What's up, Matt? I miss singing with you too, bro. I remember Matt from high school. We had a we had like a little side project called The Opposites. We sang really grungy acoustic music. Ali C, one, two, three, what is up? The opposites, yeah. Okay, so just to just to clarify, you guys can hear me, right? You guys can hear me. I have to, because I'm. I, if it's not, if you can't hear me, I have to sort this out. You guys can hear me. Cool. Okay. 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 Uh, what's up, you guys? I'm just super excited today. Um, because obviously I had music come out. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Just dropped You Should Know. Last night it came out earlier than I thought it would. It, it uh, <laughs> it literally came out at like nine o'clock my time. So I guess it was East Coast and I was just like, I expected it to be midnight and I was just freaking out because I don't know, they're putting out music. Thank you, Jazzy. Thank you, Haunted One. Thanks, you guys. I feel so awesome. It's so cool, like, that it's out. And, um, yeah, I'm just excited. Sorry. Um, yeah, I know. Damien's, uh, Damien's music came out today, too. His Christmas album, which is, we all knew he would put out a dope-ass Christmas album. He's got that swing voice, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, I'm kind of just waiting for people to, I'm just waiting a second for, to make sure everyone's here and then I'm going to sing some tunes. Uh, okay. I love doing this every time. Where are y'all from? Where's everyone from? Where's everyone hailing from? Idaho. Hey, thank you, Tory Brents. Venus. I like you, Barbie B. Liverpool, what's up? Germany, Mississippi, Texas, Seattle, Ireland, Indonesia, Florida, France, Indiana, UK, Brazil, Ukraine. Holy crap. New Jersey, Italy, Brazil. Amazing. Texas, Spain. Damn. Y'all are from everywhere. Florida, Missouri. 
make all messages. Farthest part of the solar system. North Carolina, Illinois. What is up? That's awesome. To this bastard. Um, yes. Tell your friends to log on here because this is gonna be a fun you know. County Durham, Newcastle. Pause. Oh, thanks, Jazzy. That was cool. So I'm tuning. Better. Okay. Don't style me. Talk that shit. Yeah. Oh, you guys. You guys are digging it. I love it. Ah, I'm super stoked. Um, yeah. Okay. I guess to. Uh, I always like to warm up with a song. I'm gonna warm up with one song that I always do, and then I'm gonna sing because when I'm singing songs I've never sang before, I like to warm up. Let me see. Actually, you know what? I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. I'll rise to the challenge. Okay. Six inch black boots walk you down my boulevard. Someone let you let me find out what you are. Somebody like you, a pro in attitude. Maybe this is all for you. You should know, you should know by now. Don't wanna own you. I don't wanna trust you. And I don't wanna fall for you. You should know now. If you wanna feel like a bad girl, don't lie. I let go stay. Oh, you should know, you should know by now. You get no sleep, no light, all night. I know what it takes. Oh, you should know, you should know by now. Oh. You should know, you should know by now. Leopard, print skirt, Walmart, let's sit on my floor. And I'll kiss it better, get up, back in me for more. Oh no. Somebody like you, a girl with an attitude. Well, maybe this is all for you. You should know, you should know by now. I don't wanna own you. I don't wanna trust you. And I don't wanna fall for you. Ha. You should know, you should know by now. If you wanna feel like a bad girl, don't lie. I let like gotta stay. Oh, you should know, you should know by now. We get no sleep, no lies, all night. I know what it says, yeah. You should know, you should know about me. Oh, you should know, baby. No, by now, yeah. You should know, you should know about me. Oh, you should know, you should know about me. No, you should know about no. Oh!
<laughs> new song. That's the first time I've ever played a new song, like in front of people. Crazy. Uh, uh, feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> thanks, you guys. Oh, thanks, you guys. You guys are being so positive. It's awesome. Yeah, I really hope, I really hope this EP, you know, I'm not going to say, I believe this EP can take me to a, the next step on the ladder, you know, so. A friend just texted me that she's listening. That's, that's what's up. Angel, that's exactly what I'm planning on doing is, is uh, I, I'm not exactly sure when I'll do it, but I do want to put out an acoustic album. And that's my whole plan is to put out old songs, new songs, some covers. Yeah. And then like brand new songs, like a big fat acoustic album. Oh, my mom loves it. She loves my music. Oh, thanks, Ignacia. Oh, thank you. Um, thanks, Amanda. Yes. Yes, Ignacia. Don't worry. This will be posted this week. Your mom loves the EP too. That's boss. Yes, lyrics are coming out too. It's gonna be sick too. We're gonna post them and they're like, they're all handwritten. So, uh, be dope. And yeah, chords. You know, it's so funny. I always get on here and I'm just like, guys, wait for my EP. We're, the EP's coming and now I'm like, it's out. So like, <laughs> I don't know what to say almost. I don't know, I have nothing to promote, I guess. Just keep listening to it. Tell your friends to listen to it. Um, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome one. Yeah, you're jazzy. It is a game. It, it's so funny. I have so many friends and I have so many like people that I know that know that I do music and all this. And like, they're like, what's the next step? And I'm like, no idea. Like. You don't, you, the next step is whatever you're supposed to do. You know, you just, it's like, it's like watering a garden. You plant the seeds, you start watering it and you just, it grows, you know? <clears throat> of course, yes, ow. Yes, of course, bunch of live shows. Oh yeah, gotta play live. And then uh, we have a music video coming out. Um, question. Of all of you guys that got the You Should Know EP, What's your favorite song? What is your favorite song from the EP? Don't start with me, nice. Feel that. Daydream. Wrong EP. Feel that. Feel that. Right on. One drop, don't start with me. Hell yeah. You should know. And you should know, yeah. Oh, I love. I love that you guys like all the songs. I love them all for completely different reasons. One drop, feel that, feel that. Oh, thanks, Angel. It would have been fly. We're still gonna put that out eventually. That wasn't my fault. Don't start with me, you should know. Ah, oh, I love the vibe of them all together. Thank you, Tori. Love you too, Eric. Oh man, they all, all the songs represent me at a different part of my life. Don't stop me, talk that. I know what you're thinking. Stay from a distance. I heard it all before. I don't wanna listen. Tell me what you want, girl. Why you wanna front, girl? You know why I'm living. Sick of repetition. Hey, hey. Don't stop me. You can talk that shit, but don't brawl me. Hey, hey, hey. Don't stop me. Wanna take that, but it don't stop me. Oh, don't stop me. You can talk that shit, but don't brawl me. Hey, hey, hey. Don't stop me. Don't finish, don't stop me. Well, I just had a vision. Different positions. 
Back on all fours Baby, look delicious Cause I know what you want, girl so why you want a friend, girl You know why I'm living Go from the bedroom to the kitchen Yeah Don't stop me Talk that shit, but don't call me Hey, yeah, I can't Don't stop me Wanna take that, but it don't stop me Whoa. Don't stop me Talk that shit, but don't call me Hey, yeah, hey, hey. Don't stop me It's gonna finish, don't stop me I want to make you feel heaven right now. Love me, be me, don't be me. Uh, I put it down. All the way down. Yeah. I never even tried to do that acoustically. That came out good. Oh, for Don't Start With Me, the inspiration. For Don't Start With Me. Uh, that song's about basically these LA chicks that, the thing with LA is that every girl is so beautiful and, and knows it. So it's just kind of like, everyone's just worried about what's next. They, they don't appreciate what they have right now. They could have a, a really awesome person, not even like dating. I just mean like someone to hang out with and they just, they're not fully there. They're worried about what's, what's who's coming along next and that song's basically like about that girl who's like i know what you want don't unless if you're gonna be one of those girls like you, you know you're gonna you're gonna give me all the 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 signs of what i should do and how i should you know go about it and be there but you're gonna be one of those girls just waiting for someone else so don't even start with me if that's oh just don't start with me Oh yeah. I mean, here's the thing. It's music. It's, it's 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 storytelling. It's not it's not how I feel always. It's not even necessarily like a statement. It's just a thought I had and if you write songs about it. It's like I could write a song about hating someone and then make up with that person and still have that song. You know, it's like it's it it's like a time capsule. I don't know. I make sense. I know I make sense. What's this? You know, you guys. I just have to. I just have to say that I love you guys, and I'm so thankful that you guys are digging the CP, and I'm, I'm thankful you guys are just, just loving it. Just thank you. I I wouldn't be able to do any of this without you guys. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna sing a couple of songs now that I'm not done on here. Yet. I'm gonna do this one first. <laughs> I've never tried this before. And I just learned it this morning, so be kind. And I have to look at the chords. Or not the chords. Oh yeah, the chords. Okay. Uh. Oh, baby, I like your style. On your ways, from way back, back where you play. Streets not safe, but I never run away. Even when I'm away, O T O T. There's never much love when we go O T. I pray to make it back in one piece. I pray, I pray. And that's why I need a one dance. Got a Hennessy in my hand. One more time, if I go, how your body was taking a hold on me. I need a one dance. Got a Hennessy in my hand. One more time if I go. How your power's taking a hold on me. Baby, I like your style. Strength and guidance. All that I'm wishing for my friends. Nobody makes it for my end. I had to bust up the silence. You know you gotta stick by me. Soon as you see the text, reply me. I don't wanna spend time fighting. And that's why I need a one dance. Got a Hennessy in my head. One more time for I go. How your power's taking a hold on me. I need a one dance. 
wanted to see in my head One more time before I go I was taking hold on me I like your style. Yeah. That's my one dance cover. One dance. Hey, dude. Oh, I'm from San Francisco. That's where they raised me. Oh, girl, close your eyes. Let that rhythm get into you. Oh. MJ. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are so positive. You guys, you guys don't even know this, but you guys keep me up sometimes. Like you keep me like uplifted is what is a better word. Um, you know, it's a lot of you you get doubtful. Everyone does. So it's good to know you guys are there. No, I didn't get to see the Prince tribute last night. I saw a lot of like Instagrams of it, but I didn't watch it. I don't watch those things. They make me emotional. I haven't seen any of the Prince tributes. It makes me emotional. I can't handle it. Ah, oh, snap. Love you, snap. Yeah. Oh. Oh, thank you, Ali C. One, two, three. <laughs> Thanks, Nina. That's really cool to say. Yeah, I know some Young the Giant. <laughs> okay. um, what artists do I love at the moment? You know what's crazy? I'm at a point where um, I've always thought about doing this, but it's never happened. Thanks, Ignacio. I've always thought about doing this, but it never actually happened. And now I'm at a point where I don't really listen to music right now. I'm not really listening to music. I only listen to my own music. I don't want to get obsessed over what someone else did or their idea right now. I need to, I just, I'm kind of just honing in on whatever I want to do and not worrying about the rest. So I don't really know any new artists that I like. I don't, I'm not listening to any music now. It's weird. Aw, oh, Baby Luna, that's okay. If you can't sing and make music. A, still sing and make music, sing in the shower. Make yourself happy and uh, listen to music. Thanks. My funny Valentine. Sweet cosmic Valentine. You make me smile with my heart. Your looks are laughable, unphotographable. Yet you're my favorite work of art. But don't change your hair for me. Not if you care for me. Stay, little Valentine. Stay. Oh, I love Alabama shakes. Alabama shakes are so cool, and they sound like they really sound like. Um, of course, they sampled jazz for Blakey. That's Art Blakey that I sampled. That's why I called it that. I sampled uh, Three Blind Mice and that old feeling. And I put them together. So yeah. Oh, I should do something like that again. I wanna it was fun sampling jazz. I literally put it on my record player and put a microphone to it and recorded it and then chopped it up. It's tight. Yeah. Big project. Um 
I haven't gotten a new fan manager's, but you know what? I'm thinking you could probably just send it to my um to my manager's office. That that sounds like it would like that's doable, so maybe we'll do that. Angel's asking, can you create how you can you describe how you create a song? No. It's it's very different every single time. I don't know. You just you just start making stuff. You just I don't know. You play around and then something catches your ear and then all of a sudden you have something you want to say. It makes you feel a certain way and then you just start writing. And I don't know. I like writing with diff with people. I like writing with people because because they bring out something else. They have their own story that they're telling as well, and it doesn't because it's probably a scenario we've both been in. That's what's that's why music is fun because it's relatable. So you can like, you know, I love writing with people. You know. Sometimes I end up writing by myself. Sometimes there's no one there. It's just always random. I don't know. I don't know. You just do it. It's hard. It sucks. But it does suck sometimes. Sometimes you really love something, but you just can't figure it out. But I don't know. I can't really describe it. Robert Randolph. I've never heard of that. Who's that? Laura, why don't you have people to write with? You can write with people. Um, 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 like, I've had this the same way. It's affected. Do you feel like you get too influenced by people you're listening to? No, I never feel like I'm getting too influenced by listening to because all of my favorite artists that I listen to, the second I listen to, like the first, I didn't have something within me that someone else was bringing out. Like the first time I heard Michael Jackson, I didn't feel like I was hearing Michael Jackson for the first time. I felt like I was like, exactly. In my mind, I was like, my seven-year-old mind was like, yeah, exactly. This is what I was hearing in my head. Like, this is, he nailed it. This is what I hear in my head. Lots of rhythm and, like, intensity. Nailed it. And it's like, I don't even feel like I heard them. I feel like, like, they just nailed what I was already thinking. Same thing with Prince. It's like, when I heard it, the first one was like, yeah, there it is. There's the ultra funk with just sex all over it. There we go. And it's like, I don't know. No, it's not, it's not like, no, you don't get too influenced. It's, it's in you. Um, you I used to sing that song. That song is hard. Oh, thanks. That photo shoot for the EP was, was fun. It was quick. It was a friend, my roommate did it. See, I was gonna play, I was gonna play it and I don't remember why. <laughs> Planning on getting more tattoos, always. But just not for a little bit. I have, I have more than I thought I'd have at this age, so I'm just gonna show. Choir. No, I didn't do choir in school. I did marching band. And then I quit marching band because my band, my actual band started doing well. So so I did what I'm doing now. I've always done this. This is what I do. But that was the first band I sang in. I used to, um, I used to always play drums in bands. Okay. I'm going to play a song and then we'll continue. I really like the song. It's by Robin Thicke, but it's like old Robin Thicke. Pre, pre Miley.
If I wasn't who I was, if I wasn't me, would you stand next to me in the street? If I changed my hair, would you then be proud? If I ran round town with a different crowd, would you be my baby? Oh, if I had more money, oh, would that make you love me? 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 Oh. If I practice different religion, if I spoke my words differently, if I changed my tune to your favorite song, would you wrap your arms around me? If I dug down deep to the bottom, would you love me unconditionally? If I sound like you when we laugh the same, would you mind if I hang around? Would that make you love me? Oh, would that make you love me? Oh, that make you love me more? Would that make you love me? Ooh, I get, I get. From a different place Will my message finally be heard If it's just me and you And it's no one else Would you see how much we say Would you be my lover Oh, if I was different color Oh, would that be my brother Oh, would that make you love me Oh, would that make you love me? Oh, would that make you love me? Make you love me? Oh, would that make you love me? Ooh. Sorry, I got a text right at the end there. Thanks, guys. Uh, sorry, I have like people reminding me of what I need to say on here. On the 21st, next next week, yeah, next Friday, uh, we're doing the Twitter Q&A. Uh, Q Q <laughs> so I was still like in the song. Yeah, uh, on Friday, so in one week, we're doing a Twitter Q&A. And what's cool about that is, is you send me a question, and then I post a video answer. So I'm answering with you in the video. So think of your craziest questions. And uh, yeah. Hold on a second, I have to click on this. What is this? Oh, shut up! Oh, Jazzy, I just saw the t shirt. What? How did you get that? They have that on Amazon? She has got this t shirt that says, I think my soulmate is Samuel Larson. That's crazy. I didn't know I had merch. Ale, I'm 25. I love being 25. Being 25 is interesting because to all my, my friends that are like 22, 21, they're all like, whoa, you're old. But then to all my friends that are like 28, 27, they're like, dude, you're a baby. And I'm just like, what? I, I don't know what I am. I'm just me. But it's good. It's good to not be a kid anymore. I miss it. It's a, it's a beautiful time, but you know, you gotta, you gotta, it's fun to know more. I think one of the greatest things about about growing up is that, or getting older, or whatever, is you just get to a point where nothing can embarrass you anymore. Like no one can make you feel anything negative. You're just like, you're like, dude, I got my own life to live over here, so.
I just don't care. It's fun. How are you guys doing? What are you guys up to today? Besides listening to You Should Know. <laughs> Haunted one. There's a lot that can embarrass me. Nothing can embarrass me. Nothing! Hey, Tori applied for college today. Very good. Boss, where'd you apply to? Do I regret anything about my past? Of course. You learn the lessons were worth it. There's so many things I regret. But you, the only way to take a negative thing and make it positive is go, well, I'm going to become smarter because of that. Yeah. It sucks, yeah, but you, you learn. Probably get yourself away from doing more harm. Well, stupid things, whatever. Harm is a heavy word. French lessons. You're learning French. Elvis, yeah. I know Elvis. Nothing but a hound dog guy crying all the time. You ain't a nothing but a hound dog guy crying all the time. Well, you ain't never got a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. When they said you was high, clear. Well, that was just a lie. When they said you was high class, uh, well, that was high. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. Oh! Elvis. The man. Elvis is the man. Elvis invented rock and roll, dude. Like, what? What the shit? It's insane. Some someone invented the light bulb, and someone invented like paperclip, and then he gets to sit there and be like, "But I invented." Thank you, Sea Girl. Third scene. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Elvis is tight. Michael's the king of pop, but he didn't invent pop. That's the difference. Elvis invented that shit. I mean, he didn't. Chuck Berry did, but I mean, a lot of people did. But, you know what I'm saying. Oh, Sam Larson Daly, you're super sweet. That's really sweet. <laughs> no way, your mom was Elvis's nurse? What? Amy Red, thank you. Thanks. Your mom, what? What? That's insane. Whoa. Ah, oh, Roma. We'll tell your dad I say happy birthday and thank you. Please let me steal you away for a second. That's it. Wow, that's. Yeah, her mom has Elvis's blood. <laughs> How does it feel to have fans all over the world? It's incredible. Tell your friends about, about the music because, because that's the only way I get to go see you guys, really, if we're being honest. Tell your friends so I can go out there and see you guys and play a show. And you're from Denmark. Hi, the God. I can live Dansk. Yeah, let's get that now. Alex C one two three. Thank you. Oh, Jeff Buckley. Yeah, yeah. I should do a Jeff Buckley song. Alex, good Yeah, let's go, Tux got a hair. 
Tusen, tusen tak. You know, I'll be the new prince as much as Michael was the new James Brown. I'll take it there, but I'll still be, I'm still, I can't be anyone else, just me. But I'll take the funk from Prince and I'll keep it, I'll keep it alive. And then when I go, I hope there's some kid that falls in love with the funk and keeps, keeps it, keeps it going after I'm gone. I'm on a mission. I have to keep the funk alive. Danish or Spanish? Um, when I grew up, I could have learned Danish or Spanish. I had a choice, but I was Danish because I wanted to be like my dad because my dad was a big buff Viking. But now, now I wish I would have chosen Spanish because it's so useful. No one speaks Danish. No one speaks Danish. Like, no one speaks Danish. Even in Denmark, they, they all know ish. So it's like, I mean, it's great to know so I can talk to my relatives, but Spanish is so much, it's just beautiful. What does my dad do for a living? See, my dad started off as a mechanic, but now he can just do, like, he's a mechanic and a plumber and an engineer. And now he's just like the boss of everyone. And he, but he still does a job because he likes fixing stuff. He used to work at United Airlines. He was one of like 11 people out of 100 people that didn't get laid off after 9-11. They, they kept him, so. And then we left. Manolo follows you on Twitter, Ignacio. That's cool. Man, I haven't talked to my brother in a little bit. It's been a couple days. Oy, mi amor. I know one song in Spanish. Los pitos dicen, pio, pio, pio. ¿Cuántos tienes nombres? ¿Cuántos tienes fe? That's it. If I wasn't a musician, what would I do? I'd probably move to Africa or India or something and just live out there and just sing for other people. Well, I mean, I guess that's being a musician, but I would just, I don't know. That's probably what I would do. If I didn't do this, I'd probably just be like a missionary or something. Or a... I mean, yeah, some sort of missionary. That's a heavy word, but it's like, I don't know. Or I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I would just want to go out and, I don't know, not just help people, but like be their friends and like be like, hey, I'm not just a. I'm not just here to help you out. Like now, I'm living here, and we're homies. So you got a friend. Will I learn to say I love you in Indonesian? If you type it out, I'll give it a go. I'll try it out. All caps. You're so chill. Pretty chill, yeah. Sometimes I'm not chill. Sometimes I freak out. But that doesn't happen very often. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh -huh. I don't got sound to be tripping. There's no point in tripping. I'll tell you how I'm single. Because I need to make this music thing happen. And hanging out on the couch, watching Netflix, cuddling with someone. It's super fun and enjoyable, but also it's taking away time that I could be spending writing lyrics and being in the studio and doing shit I got to do. Money I should be spending on rehearsal spaces instead of dinners. Besides, girls going to want a house to live in. So I, I should get there first and then I could be like, hey, this is working. I want to move in. You know? I just feel like I have no business trying to have a girlfriend right now. I'm not, I'm not even where I want to be yet. I'm just gonna... What? You were born in Brazil and you moved to LA and you hate it. Well, I mean, compared to Brazil, yeah, Brazil's probably fucking awesome. But why do you hate LA? Why do you hate LA? That's a strong word. 
come visit Burbank. I'm in Burbank all the time. I'm an actor. We were, I'm always in Burbank. That's where all the studios are. Aw, oh, Jazzy, you sweet. Barbie. Yeah, LA's awesome. LA, <laughs> LA is seriously though, like, like Hollywood is especially is 100% what it is, which is a set, like a set. Like there's nothing to see. It looks great on camera and it looks like paradise on camera, but then you get here and it's like, there's nothing to see. It's filthy and there's nothing to see. And it's like, it makes sense because that's what a set is. You film it, it looks more grand than it is, you know, it's just, it's funny. It makes sense. It's very true to itself. I mean, even, even all trees, palm trees don't even grow in California. They're all implanted here. And it's like, it's like the city gave itself plastic surgery. It's like so Hollywood of itself, you know, but this is where it happens. This is what I always tell my friends when I go to England or anywhere else where I make music with other people. I always tell them you have to spend some time in LA because no matter if you started in LA or if you started somewhere else and got big there, you're gonna pass through LA at some point. Everyone passes through LA. Everyone that's doing shit in pop culture is gonna pass through LA. So you should hang here, get your opportunity on, you know? Yeah, that's my advice. If anyone's trying to do anything in pop culture, get your app and give it a go. There is opportunity. Every five minutes, you know, work meets opportunity. So true. You work your booty off, and then one day some random ass opportunity comes up, and you're ready. You're not. It's not like, hey, sing now, and you're like, oh crap, let me warm up really quick. You're like, I did that this morning already. Because I thought maybe I have to sing for some. No, I have to check something. All right. Charger is not working. Oh, there we go. Cool. I'm out there. I'll definitely be out there. Don't worry. Thing is pop cold. Oh, sure. I told you guys are that parents have gotten from me. Is it working? Hey! Son of a bitch! No! No, I.
Wait, I'm confused. Can you see me? Can you see me? The crack core. I'm so sorry, you guys. Crap, where'd I go? Okay. Play my guitar. Shit. Why is this not working? Lame. Where's my... Exactly what's going on. Uh, how do I? How do I change my input? Do this. What the hell, dude? Uh, ah. I hate technology. So sorry, you guys. I'm really sorry. Technology is an ass sometimes. Again, I, I just want to... Reach is me trying to plug in my guitar. Hold on. He does want Ah, Jeff. You guys might have seen him on the first session of this. <laughs> Look. Hey. Oh, yeah. Just no. singing and saying hey to the hey, no. Jeff. I All right, Jeff. Jeff doesn't like the camera. Jeff's like, get this camera out of my. Hey, Jeff. Is there a re it, I'm in input two. What is it? Probably. Uh, yeah. But. Wait, you know, you're on input one. Wait, what? Wait, Oh, I so do I need to? You just can you guys see me? 
Is it, is it working? What, video or audio? Like, nah, I go to the front, so I'm like, hey, I'm not working. Not working. Guys, guys, can you hear me? <laughs> can you hear me? No, <laughs> everyone just gave up. Everyone's like, I give up. Except for Carson Daly, they're like, We've always been with you. We're gonna be with you. Okay. Thanks, you guys. I'm sorry, you guys, for being awesome. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. You should be able to hear us. Can you hear me? Working, is it working? Is it working? Hey guys, is it working? Can you hear Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah? It doesn't make sense that What's like, only up? some people can hear it. Like that. I would say it has something to do with their Sure. You guys hear me? Can everyone hear me? Alright, here's what I gotta do. My homie's gotta do a session. We share this video, and I was supposed to be done at four, which is in a few minutes, my time. Hello, Ignacia. Um, so I gotta, I gotta put this up. I'm gonna do a song. Yeah, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. He gave me his laptop, and for some reason, my laptop I'm doing it. I mean, I didn't need to do it. Okay, we'll do soon. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Sugar. for you guys you guys thank you so 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 much for now you should know ep please tell everyone you know about it. all your friends tell your brother tell your dog tell your tell everyone tell your doctor tell your enemies just tell them to love the music and uh or tell them to check it out and then you know just thank you so much you know i don't to do i won't get to do what i want to do with this music thing and you know without you guys so Thank you so much and please spread the word because if you spread the word that's how i get to go play shows you guys are, essentially again i'm sorry about the connection uh here's sugar Uh, 
I'll sugar Won't you get that And sugar Tell me when are you going to learn Cause I've been tossing, turning, and loving you Every day Oh, and sugar, please don't walk away. Yeah. Girl, let me take it all away. Oh, 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 oh. Girl, let me easy Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. And sugar, won't you come outside and play? Yeah, sugar, please don't go away. Let's just Again, kiss and love it, don't miss it. We could be great, yeah. And sugar, oh, are you gonna go my way? Oh, no, girl, let me go away. Oh, 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 oh. oh. You know what time it is. This is the part of the song where I hit the O-O's and you guys sing in your room your O-O's and then you top on the screen some O-O's and that's how this goes. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm so sorry about that bad connection, but I love you guys so much. And uh, I'll see you next time. Please tell your friends about the CP. Keep listening. Have fun. And uh, I'll see you soon. Love you guys.